Good evening, and welcome to parents, school board members, President Joe Fink, relatives, friends, scholarship guests, and especially the seniors to the first annual Senior Scholarship and Awards Ceremony. This special evening will honor your students' hard work and accomplishments over the last four years by recognizing them with various scholarships and or awards. Scholarships and awards may vary from student to student, but we must remember is the effort put forth by your son or daughter throughout their career at Merrill Senior High School in order to be here tonight. Choices, challenges, commitment by your child's child exemplifies what education meant to them. Also seniors, you earned these awards tonight through your hard work and dedication, but now you must take a moment to thank your parents for their commitment, for their time, their support. They also are receiving a very special honor tonight, and that is the opportunity to watch you be recognized with an award and your scholarship. I think both of you should be extremely proud of each other's accomplishments throughout your educational path. By all means, I suppose there's some bumps in that pathway. Lastly, we must recognize the individuals and organizations that willingly give thousands of dollars in scholarships every year to our students. As educational costs continue to escalate, the overwhelming support given to our students to continue their post-secondary education far exceeds the com statement, commitment to excellence. Each and every one here tonight has made a commitment to excellence. Seniors, continue the tradition, and good luck. Thank you. We will be following the format as outlined in your programs. And at this time, I would like to introduce a very special senior student. He came a long, 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 long way. I don't know how far, but I think it's a long way away. It's from Norway. He's our senior exchange student from Norway. We call him Torby Haug, and he would like to come up and make a presentation and a gift to the Merrill Senior High School, where our principal, Mr. Eric Larson, will accept that award. So, Torby, if you're out there, if you'd like to please come up at this time, please do so. I'd like to thank the students and the teachers and the staff here for helping me out this year. I didn't know that too much when I came here, so thank you. And I would like to give this, it's a Viking ship to so they can sail into the new school next year. Thank you very much, Torby, and um, have a safe trip back, and like you said, I hope that we have smooth sailing into our new building. <laughs> Thanks again. <laughs> To start our awards ceremony tonight, I would like to call on the top 10 individuals from the class of 1998. They will be receiving a plaque to show and to be recognized as one of the top 10 students for their particular class. When your name is called, please come up on the stage area where you will be presented with your plaque and please remain on the stage till all 10 of the individuals are up here to receive your plaque. And I hope all 10 of you are here. William Bruckert, Allison Crevere, Kristen Dabbert, Amanda Hodgson, Rebecca Schwark, Amy Rabarczyk, Paula Goodman, Megan Book, Cynthia Rowe, and Heath Seafelt.
Ladies and gentlemen, the top 10 from the class of 1998. Let's give them a big hand. Outstanding job, seniors, and we'll be looking to see you again up on the stage shortly. And you can return to your seats. Thank you very much. A little format information as the evening progresses. This is a new format that um, we started at Merrill Senior High School. The names are listed in alphabetical order, and when the students are called as a recipient of an award or scholarship, we'd like to have you please make your way, whichever side is convenient, either left or right, to come up on the stage to receive your particular award. Also, any representatives from the scholarships that are being handed out tonight, I'd also encourage you to please feel free to come forward and recognize and acknowledge the individual that is receiving your particular scholarship and award. Don't worry, I won't rush. I'll allow that you have some time to come up here and present your scholarship. So if our represent, representatives from your particular scholarship in the audience tonight, please feel free to come up onto the stage when the individual is called that is receiving your scholarship. And to start off this evening, our first recipient is Kaylee Adams. Kaylee will be receiving the Beta Sigma Phi Sorority Scholarship. The Beta Sigma Phi Sorority annually presents a scholarship to a deserving senior. And Kaylee is the deserving senior that receives this scholarship. Our second recipient is Seth Ullwin. Seth is receiving the Robert and Joanne Upsall Scholarship. Bob and Joanne Upsall spent over a combined total of 50 years as educators in the Merrill Senior High School system. They are providing annual scholarships for two students seeking further education who have attended Scott School where Joanne taught. Again, the recipient is Seth Alwyn. recipient is Amanda Bloom. Amanda will be receiving the United Paper Workers International Union Scholarship Local 1381 Scholarship, the United Paper Workers International Union Scholarship, the Midwest Dental Scholarship, and lastly the Wassa Mosny Paper Corporation Foundation Scholarship. Again the recipient is Amanda Bloom. Our next recipient is William Bruckert. <coughs> Sorry, that's Bill. <laughs> Bill is receiving the Mathematics Contest Wisconsin Section Award, the Academic Decathlon Letter, the Rick Geiger Memorial Band Award, the English Award, the Outstanding Vocal Performance Award, the Wisconsin All-State Scholar Award, the Wisconsin Valley Conference Scholar Athlete Award, and he's also receiving the Anson Scholarship. Since 1928, a senior male of Merrill High School has been the recipient of an all-expense four-year scholarship to the University of Notre Dame. Candidates for this award must have completed all of their work in the Merrill schools. Notre Dame selects the winner in the spring of the senior year, and this year's recipient is Bill Bruckert. Our next recipient is Megan Book. <laughs> Megan will be receiving the Lincoln County Association for Home and Community Education Scholarship, the Sam Walton Community Leadership Scholarship, and the Carl and Wella Oren Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship was established by the late Carl Oren, who graduated from Merrill High School in 1932. It will award $1,000 per year for four years to a student seeking further education at a college or university. This year's recipient is Megan Book.
Our next recipient is Mark Berger. Mark will be receiving the Robert Klug Athletic Award. He'll also be receiving the Ron Smola Memorial Scholarship. Ron was an avid sportsman who participated in baseball, football, softball, and hunting. This scholarship honors a male and a female who have participated in athletics. This year's recipient of those awards is Mark Berger. Our next recipient is Jenny Kaler. And Jenny is not in attendance tonight. The next recipient is Megan Kaler. Megan is a recipient of the English Award and also the State Forensics Award. Again, Megan Kaler. Our next recipient is Derek Christensen. Derek will be receiving the Nicholas Agricultural Scholarship. The Nicholas Agricultural Scholarship, a gift of the Nicholas family, provides a scholarship of $2,000 to a Merrill's Senior High student who plans to attend a college majoring in agriculture or in an agricultural related field. He is also the recipient of the Lions Club Scholarship. The Merrill Evening Lions Club is presenting a scholarship to a senior who will be pursuing further education. He will also be receiving the Lawrence and John Frederick Agricultural Scholarship. This scholarship given in memory of Lawrence and John Frederick, two longtime Lincoln County farmers. It will go to a student pursuing a career in agriculture or a related field. This year's recipient of those three scholarships was Derek Christensen. Our next recipient is Allison Crevier. Allie will be receiving this evening the U.S. Army Reserve Scholar Athlete Award, the Mickelson Athletic Award, the Wisconsin Valley Conference Scholar Athlete Award, the WIA Scholar Athlete Award, the Wisconsin All State Scholar Award. Included is the Vilas Scholarship, the Herb Cole Scholarship, the Merrill Area University of Wisconsin Alumni Club Scholarship and the local chapter of UW-Madison alumni gives a scholarship to a student who will be attending the Madison campus. She'll also receive the Optimist Club Scholarship. Each month throughout the school year, the Merrill Optimist Club selects a student of the month, an individual who has distinguished him or herself by services to others. The club has selected two of these three students to receive a scholarship of $1,500. Allie is also receiving the Academic Excellence Higher Education Scholarship. The State of Wisconsin and the Higher Education Old Aids Board will award scholarships to the excellent students in all Wisconsin high schools. These scholarships will provide for exemption from tuition and fees for up to four years of further education at a Wisconsin institution. And last but not least, she will also receive the Ronald and Ellen Nicholas Scholarship. We are pleased to award the Ronald and Ellen Nicholas Scholarship, which is a four-year, $1,500 per year scholarship to a graduating senior who has demonstrated scholastic achievement and involvement in extracurricular activities. All these awards and these scholarships are presented to this year's recipient, Allison Crevier. Our next recipient is Kristen Dabbert. Kristen will be receiving the awards of Academic Decathlon Letters, Science Olympiad Award, Tandy Technology Scholar, Central Wisconsin Math League. She'll also be receiving the Wisconsin Academic Excellence Scholarship. She'll also receive the Herbert F. and Elizabeth Genzel Scholarship. A bequest from the Genzel family provides a four-year scholarship to UW-Madison for deserving graduate of Merrill High who has distinguished record in academic and extracurricular participation. This year's recipient of those awards and scholarship is Kristen Dabbert.
Just have a message before we go on. John and Carrie Kufall, uh, please report to the foyer area if you're in attendance. And Jim and Darlene Kohnhorst, if you're in attendance, please report to the foyer area at this time. And our next recipient this year is Stacy Dewey. Stacy will be receiving the State Forensics Award. She'll also be receiving the Good Samaritan Health Care Center Scholarship. Good Samaritan awards a $1,000 four-year scholarship to a student pursuing higher education in a health-related field. Stacy will also be receiving the Carl's Food Lane Berg Scholarship. The owners and employees of Carl's Food Lane are given an annual scholarship funded by their Employee of the Month program. This scholarship will go to a student who has been involved in extracurricular activities and who has also worked part-time. This year's recipient of that award and those scholarships is Stacy Dewey. Our next recipient is Jason Ellis. Jason, this year will be receiving the award of the Academic Decathlon Letter. The recipient is Jason Ellis. Our next recipient is Ann Earl. This year, Ann receives the award of Outstanding Vocal Performance. This year's recipient, again, Ann Ertl. Our next recipient is Adam Evans. Adam will be receiving the English Award, the State's Forensics Awards, and the Wisconsin Valley Conference Scholar Athlete Award. Again, this year's recipient of those awards is Adam Evans. Our next recipient is Jody Fink. Jody, this year will be receiving the Frank Roscoe's Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship serves to honor the memory of Frank Roscoe's, a Merrill educator. This former agricultural and later exceptional education teacher became the first director of special education in the Merrill School District. This scholarship is awarded to a student pursuing a career working with individuals with disabilities. This year's recipient is Jody Fink. Our next recipient is Patrick Goderman. Patrick, this year, will be receiving the Wisconsin Valley Conference Scholar Athlete Award. He'll also be receiving the Silver M Memorial Scholarship. The Silver M Club of Merrill, an organization of men who lettered in football here 25 or more years ago, is awarding two scholarships to two graduating seniors who have lettered in football. The first scholarship is in memory of Robert J.B. Bob Klug, class of 1936. This year's recipient of the awards and scholarships is Patrick Goderman. Our next recipient is Dane Gehrman. Dane will be receiving the Wisconsin Valley Conference Scholar Athlete Award, as well as the W.A. Marquardt Scholarship. The family of W.A. Marquardt has established scholarships for worthy students who are pursuing higher education. This year's recipient of the award and scholarship is Dane Gehrman. Our next recipient is Donald Genrick. Don, this year will be receiving the Elwin Remington Foundation Scholarship. 
The Elwin Remington Foundation was established by Al Remington, retired businessman and former owner of Remington Motors in Antigo. The foundation wishes to support students of Merrill Senior High School interested in pursuing higher education. They have established four $500 scholarships. Good luck. There has to be one different in every crowd. <laughs> That's okay. Thanks very much. Okay. Don will also be receiving the Gleason Lions Club Scholarship. The Gleason Lions are offering a scholarship to a student who lives in the Midway Elementary Attendance Area and will be furthering their education. The recipient of those two scholarships, again, Donald Genrick. Our next recipient is Kimberly Jackalone. And Kim could not be with us tonight. Our next recipient is Paul Goodman. Paul will re be receiving the Academic Decathlon Participation Award. He will also be receiving the Central Bible College Academic Scholarship. He will also receive the Kiwanis Club Scholarship. The Kiwanis Club of Merrill, supporting the youth of the area, is awarding a $500 scholarship to a student seeking higher education. This year's recipient of those awards and scholarships, Paul Goodman. Our next recipient is Stephanie Gravel. <laughs> Stephanie will be receiving the Academic Decathlon Participation Award, the State's Forensics Award, the Concert Choir Award, the Carnegie Mellon Scholarship, and also receiving the Merrill Teachers Association Scholarship Award. Those people who serve the Merrill School District as a professional educators are making two awards of $1,500 a year for four years to students who will be furthering their education at a four-year college or university. This year's recipient of those awards and those scholarships, Stephanie Gravel. Our next recipient is Corrine Griffey. This year we'll be receiving the Central Wisconsin Association of Life Underwriters Wisconsin Valley Chapter Award. Again, the recipient this year, Corey Griefe. <laughs> Our next recipient, is Nicole Griefe. And Nicole is not with us tonight as well. Next recipient is Jennifer Gremler. This year, Jenny will be receiving the Business Co-op Skill Certification and Award. Again, this year's recipient is Jennifer Gremler. Our next recipient is Hunter Gross. Hunter will be receiving the Academic Decathlon Letter, as well as the Lee J. and Lillian Leidiger O'Reilly Scholarship. This award is a four-year scholarship to the University of Wisconsin-Madison for a worthy graduate of Merrill High School. The winner must have distinguished himself by academic achievement. This year's recipient is Hunter Gross. The next recipient is Amanda Hodgson. Amanda this year will be receiving the Science Olympiad Award. 
as well as the University of Minnesota Duluth Academic Achievement Scholarship. Also included is the Geneva M. Bowl Scholarship. This scholarship is given annually to a deserving graduating senior. This year's recipient again, Amanda Hodgson. Our next recipient is Stephanie Huffman. Stephanie will be receiving the Walter and Mabel Fromm Scholarship. The Fromm family presents an annual four-year scholarship to students who have attained, who attended Maple Grove School and have maintained a 2.5 or better GPA throughout high school. This award will be used at the Wisconsin College of the Recipient's Choice. Again, the recipient this year, Stephanie Huffman. Our next recipient is Torby Hogue. Torby, we would like to send you with an award back to Norway, and this year it's the Science Olympiad Award. Again, Torby Haug from Norway. Well, Torby said he, he didn't know a lot when he came here, but it's nice to have him receive a special award. He, he must have did really well in science, and good luck in Norway. Our next recipient is Melissa Huber. Melissa this year is receiving the Academic Decathlon Letter Award. Again, the recipient this year, Melissa Huber. Our next recipient is Jamie Janish. Jamie, this year will be receiving the Mitchell Metal Products Scholarship. Mitchell Metals Products is presenting two $1,000 scholarships to students who will be pursuing higher education at either a college or a technical school in a vocational or technical field. This year's recipient, Jamie Janish. Our next recipient is Corey Kisselberg. Corey, this year will be receiving the Carroll College Presidential Scholarship and also the Ron Smola Memorial Scholarship. Ron was an avid sportsman who participated in baseball, football, softball, and hunting. This scholarship honors a male and a female who have participated in athletics. This year's recipient of those two scholarships, Corey Kisselberg. Our next recipient is Jill Klockzheim. Jill, this year will be receiving the CNA Student Achievement Award as well as the Walter and Mabel Fromm Scholarship. Again, the Fromm family presents an annual four-year scholarship to students who have attended Maple Grove School and have maintained a 2.5 or better GPA throughout high school. This award will be used at the Wisconsin College of the Recipient's Choice. Again, that recipient this year, Jill Klockzheim. Our next recipient is Matthew Kaler. Matt will be receiving the Rotary Club Technical Scholarship and also the Park City Credit Union Scholarship. The Park City Credit Union is awarding two scholarships to graduating seniors planning to attend North Central Technical College. Again, this year's recipient of those two scholarships, Matthew Kaler. Our next recipient is Shauna Kaler. Shauna this year will be receiving the Academic Decathlon Letter Award. This year's recipient, Shauna Kaler. Our next recipient is Nathan Kohnhorst. Nathan, this year will be receiving the Walter and Mabel Fromm Scholarship. Again, the Fromm family presents an annual four-year scholarship to a student who have attended Maple Grove School and have maintained a 2.5 or better GPA through their high school career. This award will be used at the Wisconsin College of the Recipient's Choice. Again, this year's recipient, Nathan Kohnhorst.
Our next recipient is Autumn Kohler. Autumn this year will be receiving the DC Motors Scholarship. DC Motors is instituting an annual scholarship designed to encourage young people to pursue, to pursue a career in electronics or a related field. This year's recipient is Autumn Kohler. Our next recipient is Liza Lobbs. Liza, this year will be receiving two scholarships. She will, first will be the County Concrete Scholarship. The second will be the Wassa Area Builders Scholarship. Again, the recipient of those two scholarships, Liza Lobbs. Our next recipient is Kimberly Lotzik. Kim this year will be receiving the Park City Credit Union Scholarship. The Park City Credit Union is awarding two scholarships to graduating seniors planning to attend North Central Technical College. This year's recipient again, Kimberly Lotzik. Our next recipient is Kara Leibzig. And she is not present tonight. Our next recipient is Aaron Lutsky. Aaron will be receiving the Alan C. Vecchio Scholarship. This scholarship is given in memory of Alan C. Vecchio, a 1985 graduate of Merrill High School. His family has designed the scholarship for a student who is handicapped or preparing for work in the field of the handicap. This year's recipient is Aaron Lutsky. Our next recipient is Heidi Mathis. She is on her way to Madison right now. I just wanted to denote she is our Special Olympian of the Year. So if you see her, wish her congratulations. She's heading down to Madison to do some more educational searching. Our next recipient is Jennifer Menching. Jenny will be receiving the English Award as well as the Merrill Rotary Club Scholarship. As in the past, the Merrill Rotarians are recognizing a deserving senior. The name that will be added to the plaque in the Senior High Library and be presented with the $6,000 scholarship is, again, Jenny Menching. Our next recipient is Marie Mignor. Marie this year will be receiving the UW Platteville Chancellor's Scholarship. Again, a recipient this year, Marie Mignor. Our next recipient is Becky Meyer. Becky this year has received the Business Co-op Skill Certification Award. Again, recipient this year, Becky Meyer. Our next recipient is Elizabeth Melezczyk. Elizabeth this year is receiving the Pine Ridge Restaurant Scholarship. Pine Ridge offers annual scholarships awarded to students who will be pursuing further education and have been employed at the restaurant. Again, this year's recipient, Elizabeth Melezczyk. Our 
Our next recipient is Becky Noss. Becky this year is receiving the Scott School Scholarship. She is also receiving the Robert and Joanne Upsall Scholarship. Again, Bob and Joanne Upsall spend over a combined total of 50 years as educators in the Merrill School System. They are providing annual scholarships for two students seeking further education who have attended Scott School where Joanne taught. The recipient of those scholarships, again, is Becky Noss. Our next recipient is Holly Nino. Holly this year is receiving the UW Stevens Point Paper Science Scholarship. She is also receiving the Knights of Columbus Scholarship. The Father Rene Menard Council of the Knights of Columbus presents its fifth annual scholarship. Preference is given to a student who attended one or more grades at St. Francis Middle School. Again, your recipient this year, Holly Nino. And our next recipient is Alec Noko. Alec this year is receiving the Wisconsin Valley Conference Scholar Athlete Award. Again, this year's recipient, Alec Noko. Our next recipient is Nicole Opper. Nicole this year is receiving the Business Co-op Skill Certif Certificate and Award. She is also receiving the Pine River PTO Scholarship. And she is also receiving the Rotary Club NTC Scholarship. The Merrill Rotarians award a scholarship to a student attending a technical school. This year's winner and recipient of other scholarships and awards is Nicole Opper. Our next recipient is Dustin Pagoria. <coughs> Dustin this year will be receiving the Wisconsin Valley Conference Scholar Athlete Award, the Lawrence University Alumni Scholarship, and the Silver M Memorial Scholarship. The Silver M Club of Amaro, an organization of men who lettered in football here 25 or more years ago, is awarding two scholarships to two graduating seniors who have lettered in football. This scholarship is in memory of Alfred M.W. Fred Lapsenberg, class of 1929, this year's recipient of those scholarships. Again, Dustin Pagoria. <laughs> Our next recipient is Aaron Peterson. This year, Aaron will be receiving the W.A. Marquardt Scholarship. The family of W.A. Marquardt has established scholarships for worthy students who are pursuing higher education. She is also receiving the Elwin Remington Foundation Scholarship. The Elwin, the Elwin Remington Foundation was established by Al Remington, retired businessman and former owner of Remington Motors in Antigo. The foundation wishes to support students of Merrill Senior High School interested in pursuing higher education. They have established four $500 scholarships. Again, this year's recipient of those two scholarships is Aaron Peterson. Our next recipient is Stacy Pike. Stacy this year will be receiving the Academic Decathlon Letter Award. She'll also be receiving the Social and Sick Benefits Society Scholarship. The Social and Sick Benefits Society Scholarship is interested in Merrill and the future of its youth and provides a $2,000 scholarship to a student pursuing further education. This year's recipient of those awards and scholarships, again, Stacy Pike. Our next recipient is Jonathan Plish. This year, John is receiving the Walter and Mabel Fromm Scholarship for a two-year technical school. Again, the recipient, Jonathan Plish. Our next recipient is Jessica Ratman.
And Jessica's not with us tonight. Our next recipient is Katina Rice. And Katina's not with us also. Next recipient is Laura Rice. Laura, this year, will be receiving the Wisconsin Elks Association Award, the Wausau Elks Association Award, the Central Wisconsin Association of Life Underwriters Wisconsin Valley Chapter Award, and she'll also be receiving the Herbert F. and Elizabeth Genzel Scholarship. A bequest from the Genzel family provides a four-year scholarship to UW-Madison for a deserving graduate of Merrill High, who has a distinguished record in academics and extracurricular participation. This year's recipient of those awards and that scholarship is Laura Rice. Our next recipient is Cynthia Roll. Cynthia this year will be receiving the Wisconsin Valley Conference Scholar Athlete Award and also the Merrill Professional Police Association Scholarship. The Merrill Police are giving a scholarship designed to encourage young people to pursue a career in law enforcement. This year's recipient of that award and that scholarship, Cynthia Rowe. Our next recipient is Amy Rivarczyk. Amy this year will be receiving the John Philip Souza Band Award. She'll also be receiving the Church Mutual Scholarship. The Church Mutual Insurance Company is again awarding scholarships in the amount of $2,800 to children of employees who plan to attend college. Eligibility is based upon, upon scholarship, achievement, and demonstrated school and community activities. She is also receiving the Martin and Marcella Lani Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship has been given to Merrill High School by the late Marcella Lani as a memorial to her husband, Martin, and herself. It will award $1,000 per year for four years to a student seeking further education at a college or university. Again, the recipient of that award and those scholarships, Amy Rabarczyk. Our next recipient is Nathan Schulp. This is going to be the last time. <laughs> it's okay. You can hand it to this guy. Nathan, this year will be receiving the NTC Foundation Scholarship the Mitchell Metal Products Scholarship. Mitchell Metals Products is presenting three $1,000 scholarships to students who will be pursuing higher education at either a college or technical school in a vocational or technical field. And also, the Elwin Remington Foundation Scholarship. The Elwin Remington Foundation was established by Al Remington, retired businessman and former owner of Remington Motors in Antigone. The foundation wishes to support students of Merrill Senior High School interested in pursuing higher education. They have established four $500 scholarships. Again, this year's recipients of those three scholarship, Nathan Schulp. Our next recipient is Bernie Shelbert. Bernie, this year will be receiving the Business Co-op Skill Certificate Award and also the Outstanding Business Ed Student Award. And I'd also like to state we had a very nice plaque that we'd like to present to you tonight, but it is packed up and is in transit between this school and the new senior high. We will make sure that your name will be on that plaque and displayed at the new high school. Again, this year's recipient of those two awards, Bernie Shelbert. Our next recipient is Rebecca Schleif. Rebecca this year will be receiving the Science Olympiad Award, the CNA Student Achievement Award. She'll also be receiving the FFA Alumni Scholarship. The Merrill FFA Alumni presents $1,000 scholarships to outstanding senior FFA members preparing for a career in agriculture or agribusiness. The scholarships are made possible through proceeds from the Lincoln County June Dairy Breakfast. She is also receiving the Pine Ridge Restaurant Scholarship. Pine Ridge offers annual scholarships awarded to students who will be pursuing further education and have been employed at the restaurant. She is also receiving the UW Oshkosh Chancellor's Leadership Scholarship. 
She's also receiving the Lincoln County Association for Home and Community Education 4-H scholarship. This scholarship is awarded annually to a student who will major in family, consumer education, agriculture, or health-related fields. And lastly, she will also be receiving the Pine River PTO scholarship. The recipient this year of those awards and those scholarships, again, Rebecca Schleif. Our next recipient this year is Matthew Schmunk. Matt this year will be receiving the Academic Decathlon Letter Award, the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award, and he will also be receiving the Air Force ROTC Scholarship. Again, this year's recipient of those awards and scholarship, Matthew Schmunk. Our next recipient is Rebecca Schwark. Rebecca this year will be receiving the Science Olympiad Award, the Wisconsin All-State Scholar Award. She'll also be receiving the Academic Excellent Higher Education Scholarship. Again, the State of Wisconsin and the Higher Educational Aids Board will award scholarships to the excellent students in all Wisconsin high schools. These scholarships will provide for exemption from tuition and fees for up to four years of further education at a Wisconsin institution. Rebecca is also receiving the Lee J. and Lillian Lidiger O'Reilly Scholarship. This award is a four-year scholarship to the University of Wisconsin-Madison for a worthy graduate of Merrill High School. The winner must have distinguished herself by academic achievement. Again, the recipient of those awards and those two scholarships, Rebecca Schwartz. Our next recipient is Heath Seatbelt. Heath this year will be receiving the United States Army Reserve Scholar Athlete Award. He will also be receiving the Wisconsin Valley Conference Scholar Athlete Award, the WIA Scholar Athlete Award, and he will also be receiving the Church Mutual Scholarship. The Church Mutual Insurance Company is again awarding scholarships in the amount of $2,800 to children of employees who plan to attend college. Eligibility is based upon scholarship, achievement, and demonstrated school and community activity. This year's recipient of those awards and that scholarship, again, Heath Seafelt. Our next recipient is Emily Seidel. Emily, this year, will be receiving the Lincoln County Sportsman Club Scholarship. The Lincoln County Sportsman Club annually presents a scholarship to a Merrill graduate who will be pursuing a career in the area of environmental studies. This year's recipient of that scholarship is Emily Seidel. Our next recipient is Michael Smith. Michael this year will be receiving the UW Stevens Point Foundation Scholarship. Again, this year's recipient, Michael Smith. Our next recipient is Glenn Strzewski. Glenn this year will be receiving the Young American Bowling Alliance Scholarship. The adult bowlers of Merrill wish to pay tribute to the young bowlers of the community by annually presenting scholarships. Again, this year's recipient is Glenn Strzewski. Our next recipient is Eric Tucker. Eric, this year will be receiving the Walter and Mabel Fromm Scholarship. The Fromm family presents an annual four-year scholarship to students who have attended Maple Grove School and have maintained a 2.5 or better GPA throughout high school. This award will be used at the Wisconsin College of the Recipient's Choice. Again, that recipient is Eric Tucker. Our next recipient is Joe Vandergeest. 
Joe, this year you'll be receiving the Printing Youth Apprenticeship Certificate Award and also the Rindell Printing Scholarship. The Rindell Printing Company offers a scholarship to a student who will be enrolling in a printing program at a college or technical school. Again, this year's recipient, Joe Vandergeest. Our next recipient is Bella Vandervoort. Bella this year is receiving the Mathematics Contest Wisconsin Section Award and again the Walter, Fromm, the Walter and Mabel Fromm Scholarship. The Fromm family presents an annual four-year scholarship to students who have attended Maple Grove School and have maintained a 2.5 or better GPA throughout high school. This award will be used at the Wisconsin College of the Recipient's Choice again this year the recipient of those scholarships and awards, Bella Vandervoort. Our next recipient is Katie Vondre. Katie, this year will be receiving the CNA Student Achievement Award, also the JS Mirzak Scholarship, and also the Sherlane Drew Memorial Scholarship. Mr. and Mrs. Shirley Drew, in memory of their daughter, Shirlane, a 1978 graduate of Merrill Senior High, present a scholarship deserving, deserving student who has participated in sports and will be attending either UW-Madison or UW-Green Bay. Again, this year's recipient of that award and those scholarships, Katie Vondre. Our next recipient is Christy Watzlowick. Christy this year will be receiving the Wisconsin Valley Conference Scholar-Athlete Award. She'll also be receiving the Young American Bowling Alliance Scholarship. The adult bowlers of Merrill wish to pay tribute to the young bowlers of the community by annually presenting scholarships. She is also receiving the Merrill Teachers Association Award. Those people who serve the Merrill School District as a professional educators are making two awards of $1,500 a year for four years to students who will be furthering their education at a four-year college or university. Again, this year's recipient of those scholarships and that award is Christy Watzlowin. Our next recipient is Steve Wythe. Steve, this year, will be receiving the Wisconsin Valley Conference Scholar-Athlete Award. Again, this year's recipient, Steve White. Our next recipient is Teresa Welch. Teresa, this year, will be receiving the Academic Decathlon Participation Award, also the Viterbo College Scholarship, She'll also be receiving the Walter and Mabel Fromm Scholarship, a scholarship that is presented annually for a four-year individual who have attended Maple Grove School and have maintained a 2.5 or better GPA throughout high school. This award will be used at the Wisconsin College of the Recipient's Choice. Again, the recipient of those awards and scholarships, Teresa Welch. Our next recipient is Michael Wendorf. This year, Michael will be receiving the Optimist Club Scholarship. Each month throughout the school year, the Merrill Optimist Club selects a student of the month, an individual who has distinguished him or her help, herself by service to others. Also receiving is the Merrill Wrestling Club Scholarship. The Merrill Wrestling Club awards an annual scholarship to a graduating senior wrestler who will be pursuing higher education. This year's recipient of those two scholarships, Michael Wendorf. Our next recipient is Renee White. Renee, this year will be receiving the Park City Agricultural Scholarship. Park City Credit Union awards an annual scholarship to a student who has been a participant in 4-H and or agricultural classes. She'll also be receiving the Walter and Mabel Fromm Scholarship. The Fromm family presents an annual four-year scholarship to students who have attended Maple Grove School and have maintained a 2.5 or better grade point average throughout high school. This award will be used at the Wisconsin College of the Recipient's Choice. Again, this year's recipient of those two scholarships, Renee White. Our next recipient is Ben Williams. Ben, this year is receiving the Louis 
Armstrong Jazz Award. And this year's recipient, Ben Williams. Our next recipient is Jason Yingling. Jason, this year will be receiving the Pine River PTO Scholarship, the Church Mutual Trade and Technical School Scholarship, and the Nicolay College Foundation Student Cabinet Scholarship. Again, the recipient of those scholarships, Jason Yingling. Our next recipient is Jacob Zastro. Jacob this year is receiving the Wisconsin Valley Conference Scholar Athlete Award, the United Paper Workers International Union Scholarship, Local 1381, United Paper Workers International Foundation Union Scholarship, and the David B. Smith and Catherine Stone Smith Foundation Scholarship. The David B. Smith and Catherine Stone Smith Foundation awards a $1,500 scholarship each year to a deserving graduate senior. This year's recipient again for those awards and scholarships, Jacob Zastro. And our next recipient is Jeremiah Zielsdorf. Jeremiah this year is receiving the Merrill Writers Club Scholarship and he'll also be receiving the Young American Bowling Alliance Scholarship. The adult bowlers of Merrill wish to pay tribute to the young bowlers of the community by annually presenting scholarships. This year's recipient of those two scholarships, Jeremiah Zielsdorf. The next presentation that we would like to make is our 1998 Senior Letter Award winners. Seniors with five or more varsity letters are asked when their name is read to please come up. Uh, we would hate to, uh, we'd like to let you know first of all that we did not include them in the program. It was an oversight, but we would like to honor those students at this particular time. As your name is called, seniors, please come forward and uh, please stand forward until everybody has received their plaque. Kate Banzer. Allison Crevere, Adam Evans, and I'm going to back up just a minute. Kate Banzer received five varsity letters. Allison Crevere received six letters. Adam Evans received seven letters. Chester Ferriman received six letters. Jamie Janowish received five letters. Corey Kisselberg received six letters. Marie Minur received six letters. Dustin Pagoria received seven letters. Troy Pieper received six letters. Andrew Rajak received six letters. Heath Seafelt received 10 letters. And Katie Vondre received nine letters. Here's our five or more varsity letter winners for the senior class of 1998. Let's give them a big hand, please. Thank you very much. Gives me great pleasure at this time to read a memo sent to us from the White House of Washington, dated 1998. Congratulations on receiving the President's Education Awards. Mrs. Clinton and I are happy to join your teachers, family, and friends in recognizing this wonderful achievement. This award is a special recognition of your hard work and determination to make the most of your abilities. Whether you go on to advanced studies or begin a career, I encourage you to make the most of your education and become lifelong learners. By doing so, you can broaden your world, discover new ideas, and help to lead our country in the 21st century. Whatever path you choose, I hope you will always reach out to help others, continue to set high goals, and believe in yourself. Best wishes for a future fulfilled with happiness and success, President and, Bill, President and Mrs. Bill Clinton. <laughs> Thank 
That's Mrs. Clinton and President Bill Clinton. <laughs> and the award winners, I'd like to call up, please. Uh, as your name is called, please come up the stage, receive your award from Mr. Larson, and you can make your way down uh, off the stage. If you'd like to all come uh, from stage left and proceed to stage right and exit, that'd be great. William Bruckert. Megan Book. Derek Christensen. Allison Crevere, Kristen Dabbert, Jason Daly, Jason Ellis, Adam Evans, Patrick Gotterman, Dane Gehrman, Jennifer Geis, Paul Goodman, Stephanie Gravel, Hunter Gross, Amanda Hodgson, Matthew Kaler, Joseph Meehan, Jennifer Mensing, Marie Minure, Noel Nino, Alec Noko, Tara Ullman, Dustin Pagoria, Jessica Ratman, Laura Rice, Cynthia Rowe, Melissa Rungi, Amy Rabarczyk, Rebecca Schleif, Matthew Schmunk, Rebecca Schwark, Keith Seafeld, Joshua Thom, Bella Vandervoort, Christy Watzlowick, Stephen White, Michael Wendorf, Kelly Wendt, Jason Yingling, Jacob Zastro. Again, those individuals are the recipients of the Presidential Academic Achievement Award. Let's give those individuals a great big hand. And lastly, we would like to present our gold tassels to our graduating seniors that obtained a 3.0 for seven semesters. You will see these tassels once again in a week from today at graduation where these individuals will place them on their mortarboards and display them for academic excellence. At this time, I will call the seniors again by alphabetical order. Please come up again, stage left, come across and exit stage right, and get your gold tassel from Mr. Larson. Kaylee Adams, Luke Aiken, Jeremy Aiki. Seth Ulwin, Rick Ament, Catherine Banster, Amanda Bloom, Bill Bruckert, Megan Book, Mark Berger, Jenny Kaler, Megan Kaler, Derek Christensen, Allison Crevere, Kristen Dabbert, Tina Dietrich, Stacy Dewey, Jason Ellis. Adam Evans, Chester Ferriman, Jody Fink, Patrick Goderman, Dane Gehrman, Jennifer Geis, Donald Genrick, Paul Goodman, Stephanie Gravel, Corinne Griefe, Hunter Gross, Damian Lee Hansen, Scott Hermanson, Amanda Hodgson, Dan Huff, Melissa Ann Huber, Jamie Janowish, Corey Kisselberg, Jill Klockzheim, Matthew Kaler, Shauna Kaler, 
Liza Lobbs, Kimberly Letzig, Rachel Lee, Teresa Lewis, Kara Livesey, Aaron Lutsky, Joseph Meehan, Jennifer Menching, Marie Mignor, Becky Nas, Holly Nino, Noel Nino, Alec Noko, Tara Ullman, Dustin Fagoria, Jeremy Parks, Aaron Peterson, Stacy Pike, Jessica Ratman, Laura Rice, Bobby Richards, Melissa Ritchie, Cynthia Rowe, Melissa Rungi, Amy Rabarczyk, Nathan Schulp, Bernie Shelbert, Rebecca Schleif, Angela Schmidt, Daniel Schmidt, Matthew Schmunk, April Schneider, Bernard Schneider, Joshua Schipfer, Lisa Schroeder, Rebecca Schwark, Heath Seafeld, Michael Smith, Grant Stevenson, John Taylor, Stephanie Thoreen, Joshua Thom, Bella Vandervoort, Katie Vondre, Corey Wade, Amy Wise, Christy Watzlowick, Stephen Wythe, Teresa Welch, Michael Wendorf, Kelly Went, Benjamin Williams, Chrissy Wood, Jason Yingling, Jacob Zastru, and Amelia Ziesmer. Again, these individuals have attained a 3.0 for seven semesters and are the recipients of this year's gold tassels. Let's give them a big round of applause and let's continue until they're off the stage. At this time, that is the conclusion of our awards and scholarships program. But before we leave, I'd like to make a couple thank yous. Again, on the stage with Mr. Uh, Larson, our principal at Merrill Senior High School, was Ellen Bartling. She was our scholarship coordinator and took refuge in the office right next to me. She's quite a, a busy individual because I know the door was slamming back and forth quite a few times. And she was running out, making sure packets and scholarships and everything was done properly. With her effort that she put in, I think uh, it's outstanding that all the paperwork is distributed. Good luck, seniors. Also, to Mr. Tom Andreska, who hurriedly put together this program through many changes and spell checks and moving things around. He does an outstanding job for us. This was printed by our students and here at Merrill Senior High School. So if you see Mr. Andreska, uh, thank him, please. Our secretarial staff did an outstanding job uh, compiling information and keeping track of what's been given out and what hasn't been given out. Also our food service, because after this particular uh, awards ceremony, you can make your way down into our new cafeteria and get some hors d'oeuvres and some snacks and a little beverage since it's very hot. By all means, take advantage of that. Again, we'd like to thank you for coming to the first annual scholarship and senior awards night. I hope you enjoyed it. Next year, again, I hope it's bigger and better with more individuals and more represent, representation from the individuals giving out the scholarships. It's an unbelievable amount of, of givings through the community for these young people to go on and go on to uh, post-secondary education. Best of luck, seniors. Study, study, study. Thank you.
ladies and gentlemen, would you please stay standing and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States. Thank you. Good evening. I'd like to welcome you, parents, relatives, friends, fellow educators, and community members to Merrill Senior High School's 115th commencement. As you probably are aware, this will be the last graduation ceremony in this field house, so it's a kind of a unique evening. After the musical selection, America the Beautiful, I will turn the program over to the class representatives who will take some time to reflect on their years in school and comment on what the future may hold.
teachers and architects. Now is the time to break free. Success is only a thought away, and perseverance makes it real. We as a class have made life's journey this far. Let's keep going. I hope to see you all at the tenure reunion with many stories to tell. Be safe and keep the memories alive. Thank you. Before I, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, it's a little warm in here, isn't it? <laughs> Before I make my few remarks, and they will be few this evening, I would like to introduce to you the audience and my, our fellow community members, your Board of Education, so if they would please rise when I call their name and remain standing for just a moment. Ronnie Bame, Kurt Eckes, Karen Noko, Jeff Peterson, Gail Rogers, Martha Sandholm, Rich Schmidt, Lynn Zentner. Thank you. Good evening. I'd like to thank you for inviting me to be a part of this graduation. It's a real pleasure, and I take great, great pride in being here with you this evening. First and most importantly, though, I'm here to say congratulations to the Merrill High School class of 1968. Ladies and gentlemen, would you, uh, pardon me. <laughs> it's the heat. Would you join me, please, with a round of applause for our graduates. hard to get here, you've done well. And the reason that we're all gathered here tonight is to honor you and wish you the very best on your life's journey. You've accomplished a lot being here, ready to graduate. So be proud of yourselves. And as I look into your faces tonight, I speak on behalf of the Merrill community, we are proud of you. I believe congratulations should also go to the people who have encouraged you, supported you, that have listened to you, that have given you words of wisdom, and that have guided you. So then I wish to say congratulations to your teachers, families, and friends. But perhaps the greatest congratulations we can give tonight, besides to you, is to your parents. No one can really accomplish much alone in this world. So today we should all express sincere appreciation to the people most responsible for lifting you up, for helping you get to this point in your life, your parents. While your parents have taught you to be independent, they have also learned a lot during your growing years, and I've often cringed at the thought of you getting hurt when you tried new things or explored the world but they had to let you become independent. So I say again, let us not forget the sacrifices they have made for you and offer our congratulations to them also. Now you are coming into a new beginning. Graduation is like a rite of passage that takes you from one stage on the journey of your life to another. Each of you have had good times as well as bad, easy times as well as hard, as you've traveled this journey to be independent and make your own decisions, you have now reached the threshold of adulthood where you will take on the responsibilities of being accountable for yourselves. Remember that every journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Therefore, search out a beginning point, no matter how small the step in the area you're interested in, and explore it. 
As you set goals, you will help yourself immensely by balancing long and short range goals and by breaking them down into smaller pieces as you move forward with your life. I encourage you to surround yourself with people who are supportive and positive. Get rid of toxic and negative elements in your life. Open yourselves to new ideas and information that is challenging. I suggest you meet with friends and experts in the fields that you're interested in and ask questions. Then read, read, read. This will help you be lifelong learners and help your understanding of your life. I encourage you to follow your dreams. That doesn't mean if it feels good to do it. It means to continue your journey in life in a manner that will be rewarding and fulfilling to you. Follow the path that brings you the greatest satisfaction in your personal as well as your professional life. If you do this, not only will you benefit, but all people that are associated with you will also benefit from knowing you. I encourage you to pay attention to your intuition. That little voice that doesn't really live in your heart or in your brain, but rather gives you a feeling deeper inside of you, in your guts. Your intuition is the source of all art, creativity, all music, all inspiration. So play your hunches and pay attention to your intuition. I encourage you, when considering your options for life, to ask yourself this question. What would I do even if I weren't getting paid for it? What would I do even if I weren't getting paid for it? I suggest that if you do what you love, the money will take care of itself. So follow your dreams and you will have a rich, full life. Establish your values, be positive in the face of adversity, find your passion and pursue it. And let me leave you with this last thought. You are prepared for tomorrow, in part because of the educational opportunities that this community has provided you. I encourage you as you go down life's path to be involved as this community is involved. As you reap the benefits of your endeavors, give back to the community in which you live by getting involved. A model from an organization that I'm familiar with goes like this. Let us do together what we cannot do alone. Merrill is a community-minded, patriotic community People get involved and do what they believe is the right thing. They are not afraid to stand up and be counted. So I say to you, stand by your beliefs and your convictions. Get involved. I wish you all well and success on your journey. Thank you. Good night. God bless you. Once again, I am Hunter Gross, Senior Class Vice President, and now ex full time student. This year, for graduation, I've been asked to say a little something about my class. This plethora in blue robes out here may look like some cult or secret organization, but in fact, nothing could be farther from the truth. Cults and secret societies have 99% followers and 1% leaders. Nothing at all like the class of 1998. Each person out here has unique qualities that only they can say that they have. You have already heard John Taylor's sense of wit and wisdom, but since not everyone can give a speech, I feel that I should tell you just a little bit about what this class is all about. This is a class of honor, responsibility, 
and intuition, a class of eagerness and frenzied excitement. A group of students used to pulling all-nighters to finish projects, running with scissors, and mixing volatile chemicals in chemistry class. A class of hygiene, wearing inventive clothing, and experimenting with new hairstyles. In a word, this class is everything. I know that being joined together with such a fine group of well-rounded individuals has made me a better person. But now we are leaving the nest and spreading our wings to the great blue skies above. Please enjoy this time, everyone, for it is one of the best that you can ever hope to experience. And now, I would like to introduce the Merrill Senior High School non-cult graduates of 1998. my pleasure to present the diplomas to the class of 1998. On stage, I'll be assisted by Mr. King, Mr. Shepke, Mr. Fink, and um, Mr. Harrington. So as your name is called, please come forward. Diplomas for the class of 98.
Dmitry Pukhanov. Megan Taylor.
Mary Handlin. Jesse Hankey. Damian Hansen. Dustin Hansen. Carissa Haley. Matthew Henkelman. Jennifer Kenricks. Scott Hermanson. Bobby Hess. Chad Hintz. Amanda Hodgson. Daniel
Let's all join in a really big round of applause for the class of 98. of 98 and the audience would stand and join the band in Hail to the Blue. conclude our ceremony this evening, I would like to congratulate all of you. As I entered the field house this evening, I noticed the people around us, many familiar faces. Take this time to look around. This may be the last time the class of 1998 is all together at one time. 
I would like to take a moment to thank the faculty and our parents as well. You have helped make us who we are, but the time has come for us to go. We are growing up and our achievements over the years have proved this to be true. This moment holds a lot of farewells. As members of the class of 98, we say farewell to our childhood, our high school years, this building, and friendships. Although this may be a sad time for some, we should be happy and thankful for all the memories and be proud for how far we have come. It wasn't easy. Keeping in touch is always stated, but never stressed. I hope this class stays in contact for years to come. We as a class are one. We are all equal, and each of us has a special part that we have put forth in making us the class of 98. Once again, congratulations to all of you, and I wish you success. Best of luck in all you do. Thank you. step as a class. At this time, please move your tassels from the right to the left. <laughs> 